Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be solving Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for February March 2024. You have been supplied with the following source files. These are the files. I have copied the files here. Create a new word process document. Make sure your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page. And you need to save this as M24 evidence. So I have opened a Word document for the new evidence. You have to insert header. Give your names, center number and candidate number. And it should be saved as M24 evidence followed by your sender number and candidate number. So let's save this. I'll save as M24 evidence followed by your sender number and candidate number. Create a new folder called March24. Open the file m24image.png in an editing package. So we have to create a new folder. And the name is March24. We have to open this image in an Im image editing software. So I'm using here Photoshop. Go to File, Open, M24 image. Reflect this image horizontally so that the balloon is on the left side of the image. So click on image, image rotation, you can give flip canvas horizontal. So the balloon is on the left side. Save this new image in your March 24 folder with the file name balloon in a format suitable for inclusion in a web page. So let's export this file. Export as. We can save it as JPG, export and select your folder inside the March 24. The name should be balloon. Save. Now you can close this. Locate only the following files and store them in your March 24 folder. A banner, text and video. So banner, text and video, we have to move to March 24 folder. Display the contents of March 24 folder showing the name, all file names, file extension, file size, image dimension and the frame height and frame width of the video. So open the folder. Now you can see these are the items. Let's right click. In order to show all the details, go to view content. So it will show all the details. Click on the details here. All the details will be shown here. Now let's take a screenshot of this. And this is step one evidence.
Now create a web page called sbs.htm and save this in your March 24 folder. So I'm using web expression here. So open a new HTML page. Now you should save this as SBS inside your March 24 folder. SBS save. This web page must be created using a table and work in all browsers. The table must fit 90% of the browser window and have a structure as shown here. So if you look at this, you can see there are two columns and four rows in this table. So let's insert a table, go to table, insert table, four rows and two columns. And the width is 95%. Give OK. Now all these cells are merged, so right click, modify, merge cells. The width is 30% for the cell, so right click, cell properties, specify width, it should be 30%. Give OK. Next width is 70%. Right click, cell properties, again width should be. 70%. Then we have height 10 and here height is 15. Cell properties height 10%. Next we have cell properties height 15%. Each table is identified with a letter. Table borders must appear on the final web page. So let's add the letters here so that it's easy for us to identify the cells. Now set the title of the web page to Serengeti Balloon Safaris. So in order to set the title, right click on the page, page properties. The title must be set to Serengeti Balloon Safaris. Give OK. You can check the code. The title is given us inside the HTML codes. Now place in cell A the image balloon saved in step 1 so that it fits the width of the cell. So in cell A, we have to insert the image. So go to insert picture from file. Balloon image. Alternate text, you can give balloon. Give OK. It should fit the width of the cell. So make sure the image fills 100% of the width. So go to the code. Your width you can give 100%. You can remove the height. Now in cell B, the image banner.png so that it fits the width of the cell. So insert picture from file banner. So you can give the alternate text as banner image. You OK. Now select the image, click on code. Same way we have to set the with to hundred percent.
in cell E a video tag to display M24 video.mp4 so that it fits the width of the cell. In cell E, so you need to do that from the code in cell E. So remove the letter E. You can add a video tag here. Video tag. So the closing tag will be shown. Now add a source tag. SRC equal to the name of the video. Next, we have to add the type of the file. So, type equal to video. It's a video file slash mp4. It's extension. This video must show the controls and play automatically when the web page opens. So, we need to add the con keywords for that. So, you just add the word controls and then autoplay. And the video must fill the width of the cell. So, width equal to 100%. Display an automated text based error message if the browser does not support this video. So, in the video tag, you can give the error message. Your browser does not support this video. Add appropriate alternate text to both still images that we have already done. Enter in cell C the text this web page was created by. And then on a new line, you need to enter your name, sender number, and candidate number. So in cell C, this web page was created by. On a new line, give your name, center number, candidate number. Set this text as style H2. Select the text. You need to select H2 from here. H2 Next step 7 place in cell D the text from the file m24 text.txt and this should be set as paragraph style So this is m24 text copy all text and you need to paste it in cell D All these text should be Paragraph style. Paragraph. Set the text memorable and inspiring as style H1. So select only this and make it H1. If you do this way, all of them will change. So let's undo. Now go to the code. Memorable and inspiring. So this P tag should come here. And for memorable and inspiring, let's add the tag H1. And the closing tag, just cut it and paste after inspiring.
open the style sheet m24sps.css in an editor. So let's open here itself. File open m24sps. Add CSS to the style so that your name and sender number and candidate number are set as a comment at the start of the style sheet. So at the start of the style sheet, let's give the comment. So comment is slash star then a space give your details name center number candidate number then a space you have to give star and then slash so this is the comment all the the table is center aligned within the browser window all table elements have the space between the borders set to 10 pixels so these two properties comes in table property. So let's create the style for that. So go to format, new style. Let's give the name table. Now to set the table to be center aligned, both its margins should be automatic from right as well as left. So click on box, margin, just remove this, then only margin right and left should be set to auto, the value auto so that the text will be moved to the center from both sides. And next we have to give the border spacing to 10 pixels. So click on table. You have border space, spacing here, 10 pixel. Give OK. All table cells have padding set to 20 pixel. So table cell means the property for TD or table data. Table, cell, table data is presented in table cell. So the style is TD. We have to set the padding to 20 pixels. So new style the style name is t d and in box you can see padding just give 20 pixels same for all give ok styles h1 and h2 use the phone cooper black phone impact if cooper black is not available and the browser's seri default serif phone if neither of these phones are available so we need to give the phone names separated by comma in order that's for h1 and h2 so format now you have to give the style h1 comma h2 because two styles are there with the same property so the phone should be cooper black if it's not available impact otherwise serif font so we have to just give all the fonts in order separated by comma impact serif font again h1 and h2 are central line so this property also can be set here so click on block text align center next styles h1 and h2 have a phone color with a hexadecimal blue component of 99 and no red or green. So blue component is 99 and red and green, uh, no red and green, that means 0. So the color combination is RGB. So first red, then green, and then blue. So we need to set that in font. The the hexa color code starts with hash so you hash then red is 0 so 0 0 green is also 0 0 0 and blue component is given as 99 so 99 so all the properties for h1 and h2 which are common are done so now you can give ok Next we have style H1 is 18 points high.
So only for H1, the font size is 18 points. So 18, you have to select PT here. You OK. The next style H2 is 14 points. So click on Format, New Style, H2. The font size is 14 point PT. So this is the required style sheet. Make sure that your style sheet does not contain HTML or scripting language. Save this style sheet in your March 24 folder as M24 SBS followed by your center number candidate number. So let's save. File save as M24 SBS followed by your sender number and candidate number. Take a screenshot of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document. Make sure the file name and all contents are clearly visible. So we need to take a screenshot of this. Make sure the file name is also selected. So this is step 8 evidence. Attach this style sheet to your web page. So this is your web page. You need to attach the style sheet. You can see attach style sheet from here. So the style sheet is attached here. Now it was specified at the beginning that the table borders must appear on the final web page. So here the table borders are not visible. Uh, so just go to the code in table, in the table property. Let's set the border border equal to. Now save this. So the border is shown here now. Save your web page. Take a copy of your HTML source and place this in your evidence document. So this is your web page. Make sure it is saved. Go to the code. Select all code. And copy. It is step 9 evidence. So I have copied the code here. Display your web page in your browser. If necessary, resize it so that the entire page can be seen. All text can be easily read and the address bar is visible. Take a screenshot showing the web page. So let's view the page in the browser. File preview in browser. So now we have the page in the browser. So let's resize it so that everything fits properly. Sizing just make sure all the elements are shown clearly.
Now you can take the screenshot. The complete page is shown. And paste it here. So this is the end of the web page task. Next is spreadsheet which will be done in another video. Thank you for now.